Hi guys, welcome back to Ejuvet channel. Today we are discussing actinomycosis, that is the lumpy jodosis. So, going to the video, lumpy jo usually affects the bony tissues. Rotten tongue was actually the soft tissues. Now lumpy jo is actually affecting the bony tissue or the hard tissue. It is caused by infection with actinomyces bovis, which is a normal bacterial flora of upper digestive tract. So, generic name actinomyces was first used by Harz and based from isolated actinomyces bovis, it is the type species. It is also known as ray fungus because of the morphological characters. So, the etiology is gram positive, rod shaped, anaerobes, pleomorphic, non correlating, non motile, branching forms. Has got branching forms. This is the reason why it has got a name ray fungus that is branching appearance and they are normally present in the mucosa of the mouth and the pharynx. Habitat Soil is the natural habitat of Acnomyces species. Acnomyces species are also present on the mucous membrane of host. So the morphology gram positive and they have got a V shaped, Y shaped, T shaped configuration. And the pus will be containing small yellow pinhead shaped sulfur granules. Very important in the case of the small lesions. Sulfur granules is composed of bacterial filaments and mineralized the calcium phosphate of the host origin. Now around this mass, a circle of club shaped bodies with their narrow ends pointing towards the center will be having gram negativity. Actually they are the antibody antigen complex. So the cultural characters. Uh, Molar tooth like appearance for Acnomyces bovis that is in the medium, growth medium. Rough colonies will be having molar tooth like appearance, and some of them are capnophilic and facultative anaerobic. Susceptible host that is, small ruminants and horses get affected, swines and elephants. Cattle is the most affected animal. So, the disease produced is bovine actinomycosis that is, a lumpy jaw in cattle. Sometimes it may cause as the mixed infection in, with brucella. In case of poleable and fistless species, that is brucella abortus in case of horses. And actinomyces viscous is a species in canine. And canine is not much important in actinobacillus or actinomycosis. So the transmission is normal in habitat of oral cavity. And FMD can predispose the animal for actinomycosis. Incubation is 5 to 8 days. So the pathogenesis, organisms are lodged, it incites in the granulum and inflammation. So there will be a colony formation and Indian club structure like will be formed. And inside that there will be sulfur granules that is very bigger in size. Now it may proliferate in the bony tissues and produce osteitis and also osteomyelitis. In clinical signs, there will be marked swelling associated with the suppurative and proliferative osteomyelitis in the region. Lumpy jaw produces ill health by interfering with mastication. So, this is the zoonotic aspect of this disease. You can see small, small abscesses. See the lumpy jaw in animals. This is a very chronic case of lumpy jaw. This was produced in America. This animal was produced to the veterinary surgeon, but he couldn't. Uh, Do a good surgery and animal diet. These are the lumpy jaw problems in animals. See, small, small abscesses are coming and they become large and they burst out and sulfur granules leak out. This may produce secondary bacterial infection and this causes that esophage. Even they can point out into esophageal groove. So these are the lumpy jaw. This is a deer wildlife lumpy jaw abscess. So the macroscopic lesions will be suppurative osteomyelitis and chronic osteomyelitis. Fibrosis of the bone tissue, suppurative osteomyelitis of the mandible is mainly happening and also it can lead to actinomycotic periostatis. And maxilla will be also affected. That is, uh, maxilla will be affected and mandible will be affected. But other areas is rare. That is mainly in the head region the infection is seen. Periosteum is irritated to form new subperiosteal bone. That is, in the periosteum, under the periosteum, Due to the disturbance of the bacteria, new subperiosteal bone will be formed. That is chronic hyper proliferation of osteal cells, osteocytes that lead to new bone formation. That is involucrum. 
so there will be many cavities and fistulae happening and in these cavities pus may get lodged all bone gets destroyed in the final stage and this can lead to even lungs that is hematogenous infection can lead to lung problems lymph glands get affected so this is a big uh, you can see the this is a big granuloma or the tumor like formation in the case of actinomycosis you can see the centimeter scale centimeter large so this is complete destruction of the bone first there will be involucrum formation and later the bone will be completely destroyed see the bones mandible this is mandible osteomyelitis see small small separative lesions see one two three four five small small lesions so this is completely necrotized bone tissue this is pyro or pyogranulomatous laryngitis since the infection is in the upper respiratory tract and also in the alimentary canal you can get the infection in the larynx and the animal will be having a different sound so this is necrotic osteomyelitis hemorrhagic sarcomas abscess in the mandible see this is a very large abscess in the mandible and since this abscess and all are present the entire animal will be having a emaciation due to mastication problems they will not be taking the feed proper digestion will not be happening and sometimes small small thorny thorny bushes from the feed can cause damage to this and this blood may ooze out so the microscopic lesions will be neutrophils and histiocytes indian club structure will be seen and epithelial cells will be seen and prolifera neutrophils proliferation so this is the cervical lymph node abscess it has got big dvr so these are the rare fungus or the actinomyces species so the diagnosis based on tentative lesions that is symptoms and lesions direct microscopy and isolation and identification of organism uh, fat Straws test can also be done. For information on straws test, you can see my video. Thank you.